Welcome to the presentation of this research paper named Framework for Real-Time Simulations of Hardware in the Loop Applied to Primary Frequency Control. The authors of this paper are Jose Angel Barrios Gomez, Francisco Sanchez, Francisco Gonzalez Longat, Gianfranco Claudio, Sergei Denisiuk, and Helila Esterkova. My name is Jose Angel Barrios, and I will present this investigation. The content of this research paper is divided into seven main points. One, the introduction of this research paper. Two, this section describes a logical layout of the system in the loop architecture. Three, the framework for target real-time computer and open source system are described. Four, some characteristics of OPAL model OP4510 real-time simulator are described. Five, illustrative examples are explained. Six, simulation and results are presented. 7. Conclusion of this paper. Number 1. Introduction. This research paper proposes a framework to perform hardware in the loop simulation in real time. The framework includes steps for the formulation of the target real time computer and open source systems which are important elements in real-time modeling. In order to carry out tests, the implementation of the frequency response of single area electric power system, including primary frequency control, is proposed. The electric power system was prepared to be implemented in, in RT-Lab software that is compatible with MATLAB Simulink in order to simulate in real time with the OPAL OP4510 device. Section 2. Systems in the loop. A logical layout of the systems in the loop architecture is described. In figure 2, it can be seen the target real time computer is connected to the interaction open source systems and coupled to a host computer. Target real-time computer is responsible for preparing, controlling and configuring the simulation platform in real time and is also responsible for the entry and registration of data by user to these uses and high performance process. Description of main blocks. Target real-time computer is a system of interest is coupled to a set of an open source system. The function of the target real-time computer is to administer, control and configure the simulation platform in real time. The open source system is the interacting system, are auxiliary hardware whose function is to receive and generate signals related to the dynamic systems that the target real-time computer will simulate. Host PC is the development computer where real-time models are designed using specialized software for model and system design and specialized software for real-time model implementation. Section 3. Framework for target real-time computer and open source systems. Transferring a simulation model from PC to simulation and real-time is a process that may require a significant reconfiguration of the original model. The main objective of model preparation is to ensure that the model is capable of operating in real time. The model is possible in real time if it is 
sufficient to precise to generate simulation results that coincide with what is expected, based on the theoretical model and empirical data. Also, fast enough to run on the destination machine in real time without overshot. In the preparation of the model, the reference results are obtained and the step size is determined to evaluate it if it is probable that the model is possible in real time. In order to build a real time hardware in the loop model and perform tests, the following necessary steps are proposed in the next subsection. Model design for real time. A model should be created in a high level programming environment to simulate the behavior of dynamic system and configure the parameters to use a fixed state solver that specifies a sample time compatible with the real time requirement of the model. Offline model simulation. This simulation is carried out to guarantee that the model works correctly. The opus can be calculated for a given time values. The calculated time vector is not connected to the physical clock, so the outputs are calculated as fast as host PC can achieve. The elapsed time of the simulation may be differ from the elapsed time of the real system. Parameters configuration, development and target equipment. The configuration of the communication method between host PC and target RTC involves the construction of the models to implement in real time. The configuration of sampling time and environment of construction and input optimum configuration and connections. Model construction for real time implementation. Set the configuration parameters of the modeling values compatible with real-time execution. Set in the wheel environment. The compilation environment must be configured. The environment includes the coder options, the real-time compilation option, and the C compiler options. Input open configure connection to the physical hardware. Configuration of the input output modules of the target computer are connected the modules of the physical hardware. Build and download the real-time model. The real-time model and target real-time computer must be created and downloaded. It's necessary to run the real-time model, make signal analysis, make setting parameters. The model test is necessary to make a test model to verify that the model is running correctly. Section 4. Open Model OP4510 Real-Time Simulator The OP4510 simulator is a complete system that works with a Kintex 7 FPGA programmable device. This simulator is designed to be used at a desktop computer. It contains a powerful and flexible computer and powerful high-speed processor and signal conditioner stage. The string configuration files for I.O. To be able to use I.O. in the simulation of models on real-time using OP4510, it is necessary to use two types of files, .bin and .conf, which have the purpose to configuring inputs and outputs of the simulator. These are provided by the manufacturer of Opel RT. Section 5. Illustrative example. A single area electric power system designed in Simulic is presented. Contain an energy storage device with controls to reduce the change in frequency when the disturbance occur. The structure of this scheme is presented in figure 3. To work with this model in real time and perform hardware in the loop, the model of figure 3 has to be rearranged. The electric model will be changed in Opal RT and the storage model will be loaded in an Arduino DUE model figure 4. From the system of figure 4, 
it is necessary to separate it into two subsystems to work in Opel RT. Some components of the model will be in the subsystem SM computing and SC interface. It is possible to see in Figure 5. In the master subsystems, all the computation elements of the mathematical operation models input output are placed. So here the power system will be placed. All part RT designed the upcom block to allow communication between common stations. This can be seen in figure six. The console subsystem contains user interface blocks like scopes, displays, manual switches, constants, runs on the host PC asynchronously from the computer subsystem. The battery storage model contains the analog input and two analog output also have blocks with some operation to arrange the input and output signals. Section 6. Simulation and results. The simulation of hardware in the loop was experimentally validated by implementing the frequency response of a single area electric power system with primary frequency control. The electric power system was prepared to be implemented in RTLab software that is compatible with MATLAB Simulink. The results of this test were compared to with those obtained with the MATLAB Simulink platform in simulations that were not performed in real time. Figure 11 shows the equipment used to carry out the experimental test. Presentation of the result, frequency response. Results of the system are present in figure 12. It shows the result with the non-RT model obtained using MATLAB Simulink. And in figure 13, it shows the simulation obtained in hardware in the loop. And the image was captured from the tectonic brand oscilloscope TDS-210. Figure 12 and 13 show the results obtained from a frequency controller that used a battery storage model integrated into Arduino to external to the hardware in the loop platform. Section 7 Conclusions For the implementation, it was necessary to design a model for RTLab and configure the analog signals of outputs and inputs. It was also it is necessary to design a model to be implemented in Arduino 2. The controller implemented in Arduino working in RT with the model of the electrical system implemented in RTLab sent a control signal that benefited the recovery after the failure caused by an event. The framework was successfully evaluated by applying frequency response using a BIS storage model implemented with the Opal RT and Arduino Duet devices.